Hey guys, Lady Lee here. I wanted to share with you how I grow my own sweet potato slips so I can plant uh, sweet potatoes in the garden and harvest a full crop of sweet potatoes at the end of the growing season. Um, you, can, you don't have to do this yourself. You can get sweet potato slips from seed companies online, shipped straight to your home. I've done that in the past. Um, you can also find sweet potato slips at the farm supply stores. Usually some, not all of them, but some of them have them um, at the beginning of summer. The thing is with me is that I grow a purple sweet potato and not the regular orange sweet potato. And I cannot find slips for this or uh, for this purple sweet potato that I'm growing. So I have to start slips um, on my own in the spring, middle of spring. We'll talk about when to start in a minute. Um, and that's what I'm doing. I'm starting them myself and it's pretty, pretty easy. I'll show you in a minute how I do it. Then I take each slip, which is really just a sprout or a vine, and I stick it in the ground. They're so hardy, they're so easy to grow. And uh, by the end of the summer, I harvest a full crop of sweet potatoes. I will keep some of them to do this the next year, the next spring, but most of them are going in our belly through the winter. So let's talk about purple sweet potatoes before we talk about slips. I really wanted to take one and show you what is a purple sweet potato um, looks like, but look at what's going on here. It, they're all like rooting and it's all a big mass, so there's no way for me to grab one and take it out so I can show you. Uh, maybe in this bin you can see a little better. Purple sweet potatoes are dark. Do you see? They're covered with a little bit of soil, but really they are purplish brown from the outside and also very, very purple from the inside. There are many uh, recipes and uh, also a post about how to grow sweet potatoes on the blog and, and I will link all of those posts below so you can go and check it out and kind of take a look at the pictures and see how they look but they are different than our regular orange sweet potatoes they are denser they are less sweet very filling very full of antioxidants and mineral and uh, nutrients and a lot of good things um, very healthy for us and pretty easy to cook you can do anything that you would do with a regular orange sweet potato you can go you can do with a purple sweet potato um, they're just a little less sweet and um, i personally like it uh, and you know, I love growing them. They're really easy to grow. Actually, just until a few years ago, I didn't even know that there was such a thing as purple sweet potatoes. And what happened to me is that I went to the farmer's market and kind of saw some kind of potato that I didn't know. And of course, you know, I could not uh, leave it there. I had to get it. So I purchased a couple of them. I just told myself, you know, I'll try them and I have no clue what this vegetable is. I purchased a couple and got home, just left them in the pantry, forgot about them completely. And then that year I tried to sprout an orange sweet potato that I got from the grocery store. What happens is that sometimes the potatoes that we get at the grocery store are so old and they don't want them to sprout on the shelf so they spray them with chemicals that prevent them uh, from sprouting. I didn't know that back then so I tried to sprout just a regular sweet potato that I got at the grocery store. What happened was that a few weeks went by and the potato didn't sprout and I started getting so frustrated. It was already getting late. I really wanted to plant a bed of sweet potatoes. And then I remembered that I got those purple looking sweet potatoes from the farmer's market and I decided to put them in some water and see if they'll sprout. They sprouted so fast and within just a few weeks I had so many slips. That's how I started growing sweet potatoes, uh, purple sweet potatoes. I did not try them at that point. I just took the vines, the slips, 
planted them in the garden and then at the end of that season I harvested a whole bed of purple sweet potatoes and I started trying all kind of recipes and found that I really liked them they were much less um, uh, they were just easy to grow and they were tasty and they were a little less sweet but I still really really loved them and I guess I can say that I become self-sufficient for a few years when it comes to uh, purple sweet potatoes because there is really um, I couldn't find any way to get the sleeps so I ended up just saving a few of my potatoes from that year then sprouting them the spring after and planting the sleeps and then harvesting and just just going on with that for a few years then I had a couple of years that I decided to grow the orange potatoes and not the purple ones. So I ate all of my purple sweet potatoes and did not grow them for a couple of years, just grew the regular um, orange ones. A um, couple of seasons ago, maybe two or three, two seasons ago I think it was, that I decided two years ago that I want to um, grow purple sweet potatoes again and I was looking for slips and could not find slips. What I ended up doing is buying organic purple sweet potatoes online. I will link below the company that sells them. Um, there are only like maybe two or three places that I found that I could buy them. There was one company that looked really good so I decided, and they had organic potatoes without you know any chemicals uh, sprayed on them to not sprout. So I purchased a big box of purple sweet potatoes and sprouted them, planted the sleeps, and started the whole process again. And now this is the third year that I am doing it since I started again. There are a couple of different varieties of purple sweet potatoes. I am growing a variety that is called Stokes uh, purple sweet potato. I hope that I am pronouncing it right. Um, there is another variety that is grown mainly in Hawaii, but this variety, the Stokes potatoes, they were actually, uh, an, they are actually an American made potato or so they say. Um, and the story goes that a mysterious lady gave a farmer in North Carolina a few potato, sweet potato slips and he planted them and ended up with purple sweet potatoes. They were planted first in Stowe County in North Carolina and that's why they are called Stokes potatoes. Um, no information that I could find about them other than that. I am from North Carolina, zone 7B, so I feel kind of proud a little bit to uh, grow them, aside from the fact that they're healthy and tasty. Um, it's just kind of fun to know that they were actually, they actually started here. Not really, but you know, kind of. So as far as starting your own slips, let's say you decide that you want to grow the purple sweet potatoes and you order yourself a box of a few organic, organic purple sweet potatoes. Um, you have a couple of options. You can either use just a jar of water, just regular water. It's probably going to have to be a bigger jar than jar than half a pint, maybe a pint with a wide mouth or a quart with a, with a wide mouth. Then what you do is you take one potato and you take one of those potatoes and just um, put it inside the water, okay? And within a couple of weeks, it should start sprouting, little sprouts like you can see here. And pretty quickly, once it starts sprouting, they grow to um, very tall sprouts. This is option number one. Option number two to sprout your purple sweet potatoes or the regular orange sweet potatoes, you'll do the same way with either one of those potatoes, is to do what I do here and place them in a bin. I added about an inch of seed starting soil um, just the same soil that I use to start my seeds on my growing shelves and 
about an inch and then I kind of stuck the potatoes in there. I did not fully cover them with soil. I just added, kind of sprinkled a little bit of soil on top and then I made sure that the soil stays um, stayed moist. There are no drainage holes here because I don't want my um, shelves to get all messy. You can drill some holes here and then maybe have them sitting in a, like inside a flat, a, a seed starting flat or a, like a tray or some sort of a tray. Um, but you want to have them indoors in like room temperature. They cannot be in a cold um, area. So if we're talking early springs, we want to start sweet potato slips about mm, two months or so before we can plant them outside which here in North Carolina, it means about the middle of March. We plant sweet potatoes outside about, again, I'm zone 7B, central North Carolina, and we plant about May 15th or so. Um, so I start my sleeps at the middle of March. You wanna take maybe eight weeks before your time to plant sweet potatoes outside um, to start the sleeps. So I make sure, and even if it stays a little bit wet, um, the sweet potatoes are fine. Remember that really you can start them in just water. So even if the soil stays a little moist, it's still fine. Um, I water them just like I water all of my other seedlings that are growing on the shelves. And what happens is that they start really tiny, tiny, tiny sprouts like that. And once they start, and once they sprout, they just grow really, really fast. Also, aside from having them inside the house and at room temperature, you wanna make sure that they have good light. It can be a light from, you know, on a windowsill and just sunlight, or like I do, I keep them on my growing shelves, which I'll show you at the end of this video, and they get light from the, um, the shop lights that I have hanging there. So, this is uh, what we're looking for. We're looking for a slip that is about eight inches long before we can cut it and separate it from the potato. Um, I am gonna use, I'll get my knife in a minute, um, you can use scissors, but I like to use a sharp knife with a, um, a smooth edge and just cut the sleep as close as you can to the potato itself. Okay, so I try to get as low as I could with the knife and just cut it just like that. I hope you can see. Um, close to the potato and you can see that the slip itself already started rooting um, and kind of going into the soil. And what you can do right now is really, if it's the right time to plant sweet potatoes in your area, you can um, put them in a jar of water for a couple of days and just get them hardened. And there are also a post on the blog on how to harden seedlings and you will do the same thing that you do with seedlings that you move from indoor to the garden. Um, they need a little bit of time to adjust and to kind of um, figure out the outside world, you know? So we don't wanna plant it straight in the garden right away after it's been in the house for eight weeks. Um, put it in a jar of water and just gradually move it outside, leave it outside for maybe a few hours in the first day and then a few more hours in the second day. And within four or five days, it can probably stay outside for the whole 24 hours. And then it's time for you to go and plant it in the garden. Again, I will link below to my post about how to transplant um, seedlings outside in a correct way so you don't lose your plants because after you you know took care of this for eight weeks the last thing you want is for this precious plant to um, die from the element because it's not strong enough now sweet potatoes purple or orange 
they are so tough they're really tough and it's really hard to kill them so even if you plant it outside and it seems like it's almost kind of you know dead and not doing so good don't give up just give it a little bit of time and it's in most cases they will just come back right again um, but of course just to make it easier on the plant it's better to do the proper um, transitioning from outdoor environment to out in the garden now let's say that your potatoes sprouted and they are growing like crazy which happens a lot of times and the slips are ready before it's time to go and put them outside sweet potato love hot weather hot summers they need four to five months of really hot um, weather to uh, to grow good and form good good sweet potatoes let's say it's still a little early in the summer and the temperatures are not very steady and are not warm enough and the slip is ready don't worry about it stick it in a jar as they are ready just cut them slip, stick them in a jar and they can stay like this they'll keep leaving they can stay like this for two three even four weeks um, of course you don't want to go too long but it's really easy just to extend their life before you plant them a little bit by sticking them in water okay you guys that's it this is how you grow um, sweet potato slips and purple sweet potato slips it's pretty easy it's a pretty easy process it's a pretty forgiving plant and let's just recap you can always start from an organic sweet potato start about two months before it is time to plant your potatoes outside you can either stick a potato in a jar of water and let it sprout and grow slips or you can put it in a bin like this with a little bit of soil and um, make sure to water it every few days keep the, the soil moist and cut the slips as they grow when they reach about eight inches tall put them in a little jar of water, harden them, and then off they go to the garden. And by the end of the season, you're going to have a nice, nice crop of sweet potatoes. Now, I also have on the blog a post about how to plant um, sweet potato slips, and I'll try to do another video about that in the future. But for now, you can check the blog post and there's a step-by-step -step instructions there on how to plant those slips the spacing and the soil and everything that you need to know about how to plant sweet potato slips so tell me did you ever start your own slips inside from potatoes did you ever grow purple sweet potatoes or did you only do the orange ones um, was it successful did you do the jar method with the water or did you do the soil the shallow soil method in a bean i would really love to know also please subscribe and like this video so more people can find it and i will see you again in the next video bye guys here they are hanging out on the seed starting shelf right with the other plants Almost time to plant them outside.